Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to install Drupal 8 on Windows from scratch. So, first of all you need to install a local host server on your computer. For that we go into wampserver.com It's in Spanish now, we switch it in English and go to download section. We click download then click uh, download directly and download the WAMP server to your computer. Okay, it has been downloaded. We launch it. Yes. Okay. Then we install it as the usual program. Clamp. Create icons. Install. I close it now. It asks for the browser, but we can skip it. We specify SMTP and email. Just leave it for now. It's not necessary for now. And launch one server to now. Yes. Okay, we have installed a local host server on your computer. So how to check if it works or not? You go to your browser and type localhost. If you can see the screen, WAMP server, it means it works. So, the next step would be download Drupal. You go to drupal.org, go to download section, click download Drupal 8, and then download it. We go to C, WAMP, and www, and download here. Okay, here it is. We just extract files. Okay, we could rename the folder just to Drupal 8. So the next step would be uh, to visit Drupal installation on a local host server. So if you type localhost slash Drupal 8. Choose language, I'll choose English. Visit. Save and continue. So here is a Drupal installation and we are going through Drupal 8 installation process. Select an installation profile, we should choose standard. Ok, here are some uh, requirements problem. So this problem, as you can see there is three problems. Clean URLs, issue opcode caching, and fix debug settings. We will fix it fast. So, first of all, we need to fix requirement clean URLs problem. We press on the tray WAMP server, left click, go to Apache, Apache modules, and we should find the right we write module and enable it. So it's here. Just press it. Pump server is uh, going offline, then online again. Then you just click refresh to check if the problem is solved with clean URLs. Okay, now it's missing. So the first problem is solved. Next problem is about PHP opcode caching. 
Okay, so we should go to uh, PHP, PHP any, then find present op. Okay, it's here. You should copy the string. Here, you tell that the indexation is PHP or PHDLL. It doesn't matter. Just follow this. You should enable it and then uncomment these lines. <coughs> okay, we save it. Close and we start. The lamp server again. It's restarting, and then we refresh the page and check. Yes, the problem is gone. So the last problem is xdebug settings. <laughs> we need to copy this. Copy this string. Open PHP PHP any again, then find xdebug xdebug line <coughs> and add uh, that string to this section. Then save again, close, restart. Refresh a page. Okay, now all problems are solved and we are going to install Drupal 8 on our local host on Windows. So, uh, the next step would be to create a database. So, we go to WAMP server, PHP my admin, and we should Go to databases and create new database. So we call it Drupal 8 for example. Create Drupal 8 database created and now we go to Drupal installation process. We go to type it, database name Drupal 8 database username root oops root no password. By default there is no password. MySQL in one server. Save and continue. And there would be some more details about uh, about uh, your Drupal installation. Okay, now it's ready. And then we go to the last step. So we type in the first this site name. My site and we call it site address. Just leave it for now. Use your name for your admin. Admin the password. Password again. Your email address. Just type in your email and save and continue. And that's it. You have installed Drupal 8 on your Windows localhost. And you can now learn it, improve, install something and so on. So if you like this video, please subscribe and you will get more videos soon. See you. Bye.